This is the 7th of August, Wednesday. Holidays is going on. Holidays is going on through there. So, because I have no blueprints, today I'm working out plumbing. Now I know the size of that. The size of the radio I want, I can't get. Um, the radio I'm getting is almost double the price compared to one slightly smaller. I haven't ordered it yet. Probably I'm getting it in B&Q. £160 in B&Q with £250 in the local plumbers and £230 in all local plumber. Uh, screw fix won't deliver to Northern Ireland. Screw fix and B&Q is the same store. I don't know why B&Q is doing it. I don't know why Northern Ireland is doing it. Screw fix and B&Q is the same store. I don't know why B&Q will do the radio and screw fix won't. So leave me now. I've moved this wall out slightly. And this is when uh, you had to sort of do wire thing and to get another one done. So the pipes is going to come out. The pipes will come down this wall and across here for the radiator. I'm not burning no pipes. I want heat. And pipes gives off heat. So I don't mind the pipes running along underneath the radiator. I think I might just put chrome pipes there where it shows. I might do a lot in chrome. It's a bit dear like. A wee bit of bling like. The rest will be boxed in there. It won't be seen. Um, I haven't decided what height I'm putting this yet, but that wee bit of ceiling's going to be lowered. And then, so I'm marking out the piping now. There's the water pipes. So the water pipes is this uh, highlight marker. So the, the water pipes is going to run along the roof, and behind that we wall back down and under the sink. So that's straightforward enough. The heating pipes, I don't want to take the heating pipes a shortcut, because I want the heating pipes to give off heat. So the heating pipes will also go up this wall, across, underneath, that's a pencil line, on in here, and it's going to go into the cupboard. I'm taking the heat from that, where the old radio used to be there, see it's capped off. So that wee pipe there is going to go in that wall. There's the other part of the radiator valve. So I'm going to bring these up, across, and I'm delivering to run the pipes up the middle of the wall. So, one radiator pipe comes across up there and across and then going to the, the other radiator. And the other one then is the little spaced apart and it's going up there. So they're about 10 centimeters off anywhere there's going to be shelves or clothes. So if I, whatever I have in these here, they're in the middle. So that's going to put enough of heat in the wardrobe. No need for an actual radiator because all that's giving off heat. I'm going to put on vent valves because I'm going up higher than the radiator. I'm going to get air in the pipes. I've been looking about these valves. They go into the attic. They have to be about a foot pipe or something. That's the highest bit of my attic if I put them on there. Uh, the only problem is going to be with them. Non uh, automatic air release valve. Because air is going to rise up. That's going to be the highest pipe. So. I'll run them through the attic. I'm going to probably T joint not to get that through. That's going to put two on. The only problem I'm going to find is that if, uh, the pump, say the pump is sucking this pipe and blowing that pipe, it can suck air on. And so all I really need is one. I don't know which one's sucking, which one's blowing. I've no way of knowing. So I'm going to put two of them on. And then when it, if one does suck in, I'll close it off. Because you can close them off. So it's handy just plumb up two. So next to ten, I like to put one on, and that'll get the air out of the system. Then I uh, have to put on real thick lagging when that goes up into the attic. So that's the idea. So now, now I've drawn it out. Now I can measure how much pipe I need, and I'll put on what fittings. So any because these things are um, have to stay vertical, I'm going to use brass fittings there. I'm going to. I used to have a pipe bender. If I have a pipe bender water flows better so i need to look for the pipe bender if not i'm going to use 45 degree brass fittings for there and anywhere that doesn't matter the pipe twist i'll use plastic fittings so the leg of that has to be in brass because you do want the pipe flex side to side and saying that if you make a hole in the roof it can't really flex side to side push fittings are so much easier but i'll take a look at my shed it's years since i used a pipe bender but we used to have a wee diy pipe bender so if I ain't got a pipe bender, you can do a lot of this on the corners. It's a wee bit of tricky using pipe benders. It's a wee bit knack this. If you had a proper one, it's probably quicker. So I'll move this wallet a wee bit now to allow for the, these pipes. Um, I had to put this end on. Now I know where the wall's going. I'll probably box in this part of the wall here. 
this bit of the wall is going to be left open. That's going to get plastered today. Um, so I'll box in this side. I'll leave this side open. This side won't be boxed in to the end. Because I'm going to run electrical wires down here. And um, so I need access to the piping and all the plumbing. Uh, I need a, a saw to cut holes. So I'm going to get one of them screw fix. 15 pounds for a wee kit. Um, so you can't be keeping it up and down, up and down all the time. You wouldn't get nothing done. You can't spend all the time on the internet. Uh, so I'm going to put a door on there, but see, the thing is, if I have it solid, I can put a double socket on there. That's a handy spot for a double socket there. Plug on hoovers and all in, because there's never nothing sitting in front of it. Um, the new way now is, that's the kitchen socket. I'll take out, I don't need to put a power breaker there no more, so I'll change out the normal double socket there, anyway. But the normal way now for pensioners now is to have sockets high up. I don't like them high up. It's alright, the like, socket high up is alright when you're not using it. But if you've got something plugged in all the time, you don't want flexes trailing down. So I'll keep that socket there, it's doing no harm. But over here, do I want sockets for me, me bed? I'm not sure. Uh, I might get a wardrobe or something put in there. I don't know about a wardrobe because then if you get these fitted wardrobes that go over your bed, why do you put your cup of tea? Do you know, you know, because you've got no blank beside you, that's what puts me off. But I like the idea of having coverage. I need somebody to hold the projector. So I think I might end up just getting uh, bedside tables. And um, I'll make myself my own headboard out of this wood. And I'll be able to hold the projector and run the cables behind. But I need to sort of know, uh, I don't know where to buy a bed. I make a bed. I've never, I've only ever owned a bed for a couple of years in my life, my own bed. I've always made, since I came to this house, I've always made my own bed. That bed there is no good, it's too low. Uh, if I had the bed where the bottom opens up and you got storage underneath, that might be handy. But then again, you just store duvets and stuff, don't you, really? Uh, but I wanted so. If I have to get a hospital bed in here as I get older, the bed has to come out, you see, for the hospital bed to go in. And any bed I've built before, you can't move. But I can go on ahead and build the headboard. And whatever the headboard is, that's what the bed has to go underneath. Then again, if I go looking for beds, the last time I looked for a bed, I seen one £3,000 and I had the tea pop up TV. That's what I came up with that idea. And the reason why I thought it was a bit stupid. It was £2,000 for the bed without the, the lift, uh, you know, the adjustable bit. So £2,000, a 32-inch TV, a very cheap TV. Um, the mattress was on top of that, £1,000 for the mattress. I think you just, these people just added not on to everything. Do you know, it's, you're not going to get a £4,000 sleep out of it. And then the bottom sat away up high. And you see the way she likes to lie on the bottom of the bed, like? Well, depending on the time of the day, the sun shines in there, so it does. And if you've got a big footboard, she's not going to get the sun. Now the sun's shining now. So I'd imagine when we get the floor and all that, she'll be looking for all the wee hot spots and all. I was nearly tempted to try and make a wee surface out of that so she could lie on that. So if the radar had been bigger, I would have brought that on out. The top of that but the radar i'm getting smaller than i want can't get the size i want and that would have made it big enough and we could put a lot of wee carpet tiles on she could lay on it so uh, with the radar comes see if we could do something about that so i'll measure the copper pipe now and see if we get that ordered next thing then would be um now i know where the copper pipes go i can go ahead with this wall Get this wall finished here now. I know where the pipes is going. And then once this wall's on, I'll we'll get a couple of socks and I'll put in that. I'm going to try and plaster this myself. Um, it's not going to be perfect. And what I'll do, as long as I get a sort of flat, I'll go on with a sander like and sand it rough. Because I'm going to put carpet tiles in the wall. Use carpet tiles and the wee spiral worked out well. I think for the like of here, I'm going to put a board down there, a piece of wood, and then uh, plaster up to the wood. 
and then when the plaster's dry, like that's good on there, so it's going to take ages. To, whenever the plaster's dry, take the wood off, and then, um, see, all up there could be done coming off there, you know. I couldn't plaster that much. So I might end up just putting a wooden frame around these windows and plaster up there. If I put wood there and wood there, I can plaster between. So that's how I'm going to have to do it. But it doesn't have to run the hollows and stuff like it. As long as the sockets and stuff's done. I extended that down so I can run a double socket on underneath. So yeah, the, the, the electric's on a, circuit, on a, a ring circuit. So then the cable comes down to that and the cable comes back up again. I'll bring the cable down here and the socket. The cable will run along the back then. And I then have another socket here. And then I go up there and, and across. And I can't have any sockets too close to the sink. But this is where the computer is going to go. So I do no harm to have open the sockets there. Two wee bank of sockets there, boys. And then sockets for the... See, the thing about sockets, you don't use them. You use smart plugs now. All you need is one socket and one of these four socket things. One 13 amp plug and one of these and you use your smart things. Rather than all separate sockets. But the leg of the socket here, I'll put that one high up. That's just going to be plugging things in at random. I say, most of them are not to use. But the thing with putting the sockets in, it makes it wiring up easier instead of trying to run the one cable for mouth. But I'm going to have the, I'm going to have a sink there, but I want a wee, uh, I want um, something to boil the tea. Don't know about a microwave. Maybe going too far with a microwave. You know, in theory, I could put a wee sink. I think it'd be low down, like. I put the sink with that height and then put the um, shelf there. An air fryer on it and then the microwave above. I could do the whole dinner in here if I wanted to, I don't like. But uh, we'll see, that's a work in progress. Might even just get a yard varnish, put the yard varnish in that. I don't know. As long as I get the plumbing in, I'll just turn it the plumbing behind and sink and put in whatever. So I think I'll go on now and get this wall done. We'll get this can finished. Now I know where the plumbing's going. And then my bulldust bit across here. There's nothing good inside that. Uh, need to get a light wired up there. A light wired up there. So I'll get them lights wired up. Um, where to put a light switch for it? I think the light switch would be better this side. If you want too much of switch to show would you like? I think I might put the switch for the wardrobe just inside the door. Rather than have a whole pile of switches on the wall. Oh, I'll make a start. I've been tweaking this design this morning. Now, this is the final outcome now. I put blocks in the bottom to sandwich this board. I heat rises. So there shouldn't be much transfer of heat through there because the radiators will be about six inches off the ground. Um, whenever the radiator is on, I'm going to get them wee round air vents that you get for fascia boards. And I'm going to put the wee round circuit air vents below. So that'll allow air to suck in between them boards there, as well as the radiators. And I put all these buttons on, getting all this squared up on here. That was slightly out there, like. So I had to make it a wee bit longer. Cut this board now to size. I've got it all squared off. And I get, I get this one screwed on. I'll cut it in place with a handsaw. And then I get the top permanently put on. Hinges and all trimmed. I trimmed a bit off the back. That board's sitting slightly crooked compared to that one. It's just the way the wall is. And so to stop the projector blind hitting. I've cut about half of the circular saw, which is pretty easy to do. Just left the mess right enough. So I'm going to strengthen up this as well. I'm going to run another bat in the wood down the back. Uh, the wood the back can be heavier. Like that has to push there. Maybe I'll put a wee strip of metal down the back. Just need something to strengthen the middle of that up. 
And just going to leave it, I would like it the ends didn't lift up. Gonna, I don't know if it's worthwhile cutting it. If I cut it, you're going to see the joint. Um, I might still cut it yet, you know. Cut the ends off so the middle bit lifts up. I don't know if there's much advantage in it or not. Of course you get a wee ornament sitting on it like, but uh, how, how would the ends be fixed on then? So I might just leave it one space. I don't have to worry about that now. I'll get the rest of them finished. I can do that next year if I want to change it. So some matter getting this finished now. So I'm going to screw this bit on now and cut that by hand. I reckon I'll half an hour finish this now. Um, see, although I've been, I just strip all this down again, put next to screws. This has to be very, very, very strong. This has to be unbelievably strong. The radio is about 35 kilograms. It's not a lot, really. But it's full of water, but if anything goes wrong, you're going to have the house flooded. It cannot fall. Uh, so it's over engineered, like. It needs to be. It needs to be. So we'll get this finished here. I had my wee cabinet more or less finished. I glued that strip on there. I the end panel all on. So I had to cut out for the blinds. It's very complicated that there, so it is. I had to have a of extra screws to hold this uh, radiator. I'm at this wee bit over here now. Didn't want the same height as the door. I wanted it higher, but I wanted to lower the roof. And I'm just more or less going by the size of bits of what I have. I'm trying to have as least waste as possible. But here's a wee problem. Uh, I'm working on my own. Uh, that board needs to go over 2mm. Well, I say that's not only 2mm, but when I put this down board on, it has to meet. And I deliberately cut it about 2mm short. Cut it about short because you're not going to see that on there. This roof's going to be lowered. I put that screw in to sort of hold it and guess it. And now I'm going to put this one and see it's not. It needs to go over a wee bit. But if I undo that screw, I can't hold it, line it up, and do what I want to do. So I'll come up with this idea here. I've got a scrap bit of wood. I'm going to screw that scrap bit of wood up there. That'll hold that board in place. Take that screw out, slide it over, and put that screw in. So this is how it's going to go. There's a scrap board in place now. So now if I um, undo this screw here. That allowed me to move that over. I can't tip and do it, but you get the idea. That was now going to hold it. So I'll do the screw. I'll move my ladder down here, get the exact. Put the screw in. Bob's your uncle. So that's the job now. A lot more accurate. Dead on now, like. All I have to do now is undo the sweet board. Once it's going to fall to the ground. Okay, you see it. And job's done. Look at that there, boys. Look at that there. See the talent I am learning here, unbelievable. Defying gravity, I tell you. Defying gravity. Ah, uh, that's them. Oh, that's them wee screws I'm using, you get in the middle. Okay, as long as you've got a butt for it. You see, see finding them wee butts there. If you drop one away, hard to get. We actually get out of fortune of screws. I bought a whole pair of screws, but them ones and that was a good value there, like. You get a good big box. Mine's in the box. 600. I forgot them at the start. Uh, I buy these boxes and screw fix. I think they were about uh, £30 or so. I can't mind, £20, £30. But you end up with a whole pile of ones you don't need. So I end up with about a second one of them boxes. Because I, I was three screws short, three different sizes short. And it cost more for three different wee boxes than it cost for the whole lot. Doesn't make sense. So you're forced to buy a whole big box again. But I haven't opened them up because I got these and that little. So then we want there, they do the wee plastic blocks. The wee joining blocks, but I haven't used too many of them. But that's the type of wee screw I'd use a lot of normally. Building this here, I'm using a lot of them. That's how now I was going to uh, see a wee gap at the ceiling and uh, to scribe them to the ceiling, it's very hard to hit that wood, so it's just as handy to just put a wee bead all the way across when I finish. Because the chances when I'm finished this room, I'm going to like have a wee pelmet covering that blind and it's going to go the whole way right around the, the room. I've done it before lots of times and make it like a wee trough thing and you can put wee lights and all in it and uh, it's a good place for running flexes for throwing sound speakers and stuff like that if you want uh, HDMI cables all that kind of stuff you can run it round so I'll be building that and then you won't see that then so that'll be uh, a bit like a wee border but done in that and the ceiling will be all done the same don't know what I'm doing with the ceiling yet I'm not playing a plaster so I'm going to do something fancy with the ceiling myself 
I'll seal all them holes up with plasterboard and plaster. That'll make it fireproof. But uh, I'll do something else below it then. The nose done out. I've most of the walls all finished now. Uh, I stopped early today. I'm grading up. Just doing wee bits and pieces. Uh, uh, next thing now is the radiator. I'm trying to order radiators and stuff. But I'm just checking this blind here. Um, this thing here, it is both straight and level and all the rest. But the blind is on the wall. And see how thick the plaster is in that wall there? So that's holding the blind out slightly more on that side than that side. I could pull the plaster off. That would be some mess there, so it would. I'm really tempted to pull the plaster off. I see the plaster is very thick there. And then down this side, there's barely any plaster at all. See how thin the plaster is. But that leaves it that my blind is going in behind here. Oh, she's just clipping. Just clipping there the front. Now she will go down, but we see this. She'll bang. And then she'll go drop. But that's not good for the screen. So I'll come up with this wee idea here. I'm just watching now. Now the everything's all permanently in place. That is a bit of a tent peg there that I've cut. And if I hold that, if I put the tent peg here, it acts as a wee ramp for the blind. So I'm going to get a drill bit now. It's um four and a half mil. That's what it is. That's a four mil drill bit. So they're tight fit. Because this ply was not very thick. So I'm going to drill a wee hole there now, and it won't be overlapping. Because it can't overlap much. And it all depends now when this lid opens. So it has to be pretty tight. So it's sort of experimental this. Experimental. I would prefer it. I don't want it to be very, very, very end. Saying that, would it matter at the very end? Maybe I will put, put it on level with this up right here. So I'm going to draw a wee hole and put that wee thing in there. See how well it works there. Now I've changed the design. I've, said that I've cut them a wee bit shorter. See the black hinge sticks out a wee bit further. So I've set it so it's over the black hinge. I put the two of them on now. If it passes the hinge, then the blanket catch on the way up. She just does a wee nudge and then she works all right. See, they can have my notebooks and all. See, I won't have all that crap in the wonder how the blind out whenever it's finished. Maybe there will be crap in the wonder. But there she comes down now, look. So just clip that there. Slides behind there. Because she's catch on the hinges too. It's this job done now, I reckon. Push up again. Um, they ha they can't be any longer than that because when this lid opens, it will hit the wall. So other than that, what I could do is take the plaster off. I had to hand them there. So when that lid opens there, now you can see it's, it's not hitting the wall at that. I'm going tomorrow now to get the radiator. And I'm going to measure it out for pipes. So I'll give us piece of hoover up. And um, so if I get the plumbing tomorrow. And then see about the electrics maybe the day after. I had the socks and all that for electrics. I just wait for a cold day. Go up in the attic. <coughs> Hit crawl in the attic. I've all this here more or less finished now. Um, I can't do nothing more here to get the plumbing in. And that's why this board not still lying off. So the pipes have to go on first once the plumbing's in. There's going to be four pipes running up that wall there. Uh, two for the hot and cold and then two for central heating. So, got a wee desk and all made there. I uh, don't want a desk to touch the floor. I'll be make a handle when it comes to laying a wooden floor. One them, I'm going to price um, a bit one of them vinyl click floors tomorrow. So tomorrow has to be a shopping day. Plus I need a TV for my living room because I just used my living room TV there. So tomorrow's a shopping day and I get Luna, I had to go to B and Q Korean, so we'll get Luna down to the beach, down to Port Rush, make a day of it, we'll leave early and make a full day of it. Don't think is once I get the radiator in B and Q, the car's gonna be jammed up. It's about 50 kilograms this radiator. Gonna be a hammer trying to carry that in the car like. Uh, the hatch might be open the whole way home. Ah, uh, it is what it is. 18 pound delivery. Probably take a week to come. So I think that's a success now. And um, I just hear blue and all now. And what I think I might even do is um, cables are hanging out now to get the sockets and all done. Have to use extension lead. But I might get a wee, a wee draft proof strip. And um, the 
we the wee foam strips you get for wee rubber strips you get for doors. I might put along there, and uh, when it comes down then, do away with that banging like just be nice and nice and snug. But so if I get one of these strips on, when it comes down then, it's a bit nice and quiet. But I wouldn't see this really now how far she comes out. I might end up changing that top to a wider top that goes over the radiator. We'll see what it looks like. The radiator is going to be pretty high. It's going to come up at about there, so it is. But it's got the white top on it. So if it works out without a shelf, I'll do it without a shelf. But it says shelves, throw the heat out. So we'll see what happens. I'll put the radiator on one day and then I'll put a piece of wooden top. See what happens. If I do widen the top, I'll probably keep that on. Because that's pretty thin um, plywood. And glue an all piece of plywood over on top and extend it out. We'll see. All depends that TV can lift up. I think this TV might be a bit big for my bedroom. This is my living room TV, so I haven't bought one for here, but I was going to use it. But my original idea was when I'm in the caravan, I used to sit and watch the, the tablet and be able to look outside at the weather. I'm not seeing outside. If I want to see movies, I've got the projector. So I don't need the TV to watch movies. It's mainly news and stuff like that, a bit of YouTube during the day. But I'm not seeing outside. So I'm thinking of going for a smaller TV. Here's my wee set of drawers now in place. I don't like the very shiny oil they put on. But uh, I'm just looking at it. Because it's 100% wood, these drawers, them drawer fronts are just screwed on. So, you can take the drawer front off if you want it to. The drawers are, are, are separate. There's the screws to hold the front. So if I decide to make a plywood bed and stain it black, then technically speaking, I could put on just square plywood there and paint it. But we'll see what it's like. Um, it's not too wide, like. Still plenty of room to come in. My limit frame should fit down there. That better be slightly back. The bed will be over, over here, maybe in all two inches. Still plenty of room. Because I love drawers, I never have drawers. So, 100% wood there, boy. It's far harder than the mahogany, because it's proper thickness wood. Even the back and all, the back and all is made of wood. The back and boards is all wood. Whole thing. Metal bits made of wood. Every drawer has its own number, because they don't fit in the wrong place. That's because, uh, you see why they put that out stain on? So that was probably down that recycling place has done that. They only did was shows. I'd rather they just left it as it was. So we'll see what happens. Like it scratched again the top one, anyway, like. So it's going to be redone. So it'd be handy if they just didn't do it. But when it's wood, you can sand it down or strip it or whatever.